Welcome everyone to another edition of Endgame Finance. Today I have some exciting news. Rivian has built out 100 supercharging stations so far. This may not be much compared to Tesla, but this is a huge milestone, a fairly young company that's still building out their products, building out their production line. And as of now, they're pretty heavily investing into building out superchargers. Like I mentioned, they have 100 superchargers so far. This is not to compare to the Tesla. Tesla has thousands and thousands and they're still building them out at a rapid pace. They're hoping to get a government subsidy, which we will cover in the video today, and how Rivian can also take advantage of those subsidies. Rivian is the only competitor to Tesla that's been actually heavily building out their EV infrastructure. We don't see Ford or General Motors so far building out many of these. They're pretty much betting on a third party system like uh, Electrify America. But Electrify America is a pretty terrible company. Their chargers have a very low uptime so most of their chargers are down constantly this is because nobody electrify america really cares about chargers this is because electrify america is a product of volkswagen settlement with the u.s government when they were caught cheating on the emissions a few years ago the government mandated mandated that they spend several billion dollars to build out uh, infrastructure for ev charging they've, they've been so far building them out but they don't really care about the maintenance of those chargers so they're not a really big competition to tesla and they're not going to be a big competition for rivian as rivian keeps building out their ev chargers now let's go over quickly just how much these ev chargers cost in this article from future energy we see that just to retrofit a parking lot to connect them to the main net to connect them to the power power lines it requires around twelve to fifteen thousand dollars so that's the initial cost just to build out the infrastructure for building out the charger this is not the cost for chargers as we can see here chargers cost about six hundred dollars per charger for level one twenty five hundred to six thousand dollars for level two and over forty thousand dollars for level level three now we can extrapolate the cost of building out a charger as we saw in the previous graph so it's roughly fifteen thousand dollars plus around uh plus around three thousand per stall so if you have ten stalls that's thirty thousand dollars plus fifteen so it's around fifty thousand dollars to build out a charging station that's a pretty heavy cost that many companies will actually not have to burden because government has mandated some uh subsidies for these stations that we will see later in the video but that's the rough rough cost of building a charger station. It's around $50,000, just the ballpark it. And like I mentioned, the end goal for Rivian is to have 35,000 DC fast chargers. This is level two. This will be approximately 600 sites in Canada. Like I said, they have around 100 sites so far. They're divided between level one and level two. You can see in the map here. And as Rivian builds out, their plan is to have around 3,500 really fast chargers. And they will have around... 10,000 uh, level two charges across the United States. So these will be, <clears throat> these will be located, these will be located near pop popular destination. They will have thousands and thousands of sites. They actually might be able to rival Tesla in, at some point in the future, but that time is still not now. And Tesla, just to mention, they're just massively building out these chargers. Uh, just to get these subsidies that Biden, Biden will give them pretty soon. So they're just rushing and building out as much as possible. Many of Tesla chargers will actually have to be ripped out because they're not really, they're probably not economically feasible. They're just being built to be built. So Elon Musk can collect a few more billion dollars from the government subsidies. We can see here in the article from Kiplinger, the tax credits for infrastructure for superchargers has been extended to 2032 so pretty much every supercharger that, that's going to be built out in the next 10 years will have a tax incentive now these tax incentive will be huge after 2022 so every charger that was built prior to 2022 will not be eligible for this for these tax incentives but every charger built after this year will be eligible eligible for up to hundred thousand dollars per ev charger like we mentioned previously costs around $50,000 to build out a medium to a large station, but with a $100,000 incentive, these stations will be built out with at least 20 stalls, even 30. So after 2022, like I said, every charger will be eligible for a $100,000 rebate. And this will basically incentivize Rivian to build out their network much faster because they will be heavily subsidized by these uh, tax credits, just as Tesla will be. And probably Ford and GM will, will uh, jump into the race, start building out their own chargers. 
But Rivian has really got the jump on everyone else and they're pr pretty much second right behind Tesla in building out their charging infrastructure, which will be critical for the future sales of their vehicles. Many people will not buy an electric still because they just have that range anxiety and having thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of these stations everywhere in the next few years, that will reduce that anxiety and will actually boost uh, it will actually boost sales for every single EV on the market, especially Tesla and especially Rivian. Rivian will start pushing out a lot more trucks just because they have these stations already and they will be exclusive to Rivian users. As we heard recently, Tesla is actually going to be allowing other users to use these chargers, to use their superchargers as part of that tax incentive, like we mentioned before. Rivian will follow suit probably as they build out more and more chargers. But overall, we expect to see, uh, Biden expects to see around half a million to million and millions and millions of charging stations, stations pretty much everywhere. Now, one advantage Rivian will actually have over Tesla is their new patent, patent battery charging technology. Now, this is fairly new technology. They just released the patent. What this patent does is actually cools the battery at a, it cools the battery so it may charge at much faster speeds and it will avoid delays in charging where the battery just has to cool off before it receives the charge from an electric station. Like EV battery chargers, particularly at high temperatures, they really heat up and they require this cooling. So Rivian has patented technology that basically air conditions the battery. So it puts the air conditioning on the battery underneath the car. It cools off the battery, allowing a faster charge and allowing the car to not have to wait for that initial cooldown of the battery where it's just too hot to even begin charging. So with this new technology, Rivian will just blast cool air uh, beneath the car where the battery is located. They will cool off the battery and thus increase charging significantly. Because many of these stations, it doesn't matter if they're level two or level three, or if some call them, some call them level three, some call them fast DC chargers. But it doesn't matter which charging station it is if your car is too hot. If your car is overheating constantly, it will automatically shut off. It will not allow you to charge your batteries. So with this new technology, Rivian actually might get a leg up on Tesla just because they'll be able to charge cars much faster and faster cars charge the faster than another person can get into that spot. And it's, there's a lot more use per station as opposed to just putting your car there and have it sit for a few hours and no one else is able to use that particular supercharger so that's it guys it's really exciting news about rivian they've built out 100 supercharging stations this is huge even though it doesn't sound huge this is a great beginning for this young ev startup and as they build out more stations as they sell more products they'll probably file more pat file more patents and they will perfect this technology even further if you guys have any questions comments or concerns just let me know below guys as always thanks for watching